What's up, Black Pepper Mini Shooters? As you can tell, once again, it's raining outside. Lovely. But I did pick up a, a, a lead a roofing boot there at the, on the job the other day. And what I'm going to do is show you what I do to prepare it to make lead balls with. Okay, shooters, before we go to use this, you're going to have to melt it and make it in smaller pieces. But one of the first things that I like to do is to get all this old tar off of it the best way you can. And that's kind of the tough part because if you don't get it over there, it's just going to wind up being in your in your uh, melting pot. And you certainly don't want that. So give me a few minutes to get it all worked off of here. And we'll get to melting lead and I'll show you how to make balls. Okay, here's what the roofing boot looks like. I had to cut it down into smaller sizes. So here's the tools you're going to need. You're going to need a bucket like this one, a metal one. will be half full of water which I'll fill it up shortly. You're going to need a melting pot. These cost around $70, $75. Well worth it. Get the biggest one that you can afford so you don't have to keep filling it up quite often. A paint tray like this one. A good stout piece of hickory or a broom handle will work. A uh, self starter. A little bit of fixing wax or other lubricants. You'll need a flathead screwdriver. A pair of regular pliers and a spoon, a little junk spoon you don't use anymore. And obviously a ball mold. Now this one's a .490 ball mold. You get two at a time with it. And I've poured, uh, i got five or six hundred of them that I don't shoot very often. Because I like to plank and it's easier to load the guns with smaller ones. So i got a six ball .480 mold as you see here. So what I'm going to do is, as soon as this thing heated up here, get this thing full of lead. I'm going to show you just exactly how I can pour hundreds of balls in no time at all, which would be great for planking. So I'll be back in about 15 minutes as soon as that ball pot gets warmed up, and I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do. Shooters, here's the purpose of the spoon. You can take out the, uh, what I nicknamed the pond scum. Anything that doesn't melt will be sitting on the top. So what I'll do is just kind of scrape all that out, and just put it aside for now, and then I'll throw it away later. Because all you want in the pot is pure lead. And when you get done pouring, the book recommends you just leave about half inch or so in the bottom of your pot and then quit. Don't just run it all the way out. And I understand why they think that now, because this way your pot won't get clogged up. So now that I've got all that out of there, I can put another piece in here and watch it melt away. And see, it's got a lot of roof and tar on that one too. And I'll have to eliminate all the pond scum again. Now, here's another reason why you want to use the fixing wax. Put a little bit of that down in there. That helps melt all that stuff up. It just breaks it loose again. So, in about uh, 30 seconds, we're going to start pouring balls. As soon as I get this melted, what to do to get ready for the, the ball mold? Instructions basically said if you get the cavities heated up inside the things here, get them good and hot, spend a few seconds on each one of them, and get them good and hot, that the balls will drop out a lot easier. So let me get this thing good and hot, and we'll get right into pouring balls, and I'll show you how easy it really is. Finally, it took about 25 minutes for it to heat up. And we'll use the six ball mold for 480 balls. Once you get all heated up, simply just raise up on the handle until it fills all six of these up. Four, five, and six. Now, this is the first pouring of it, so what I'm going to do is let it sit here for just a couple of seconds so it can warm the inside of that ball mold up. Okay? And then once I do that, I just simply break the mold here, open it up, smack the thing, smack that, it's ready to go. I never hit the mold, it's ball mold itself. I always hit this little nut here, and jars it loose. Okay, so now that it's warmed up, let's get to pouring balls. One, two, three, four, five, 
and six. Now I don't care if it gets extra in there because it's going back in the pot anyway. So break it loose, pour them into the bowl, bowl in the bowl, pour that one there, and go again. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Give it a few seconds, break it apart. And there you go, my friends. In less than 30 seconds, I'll have 12 balls to shoot. Now, I usually do this a little later, but since I got the camera working, I'll show you this. And what I do here is I take all these out after a while, put them back into the pot, it melts, and ready to go again. So, no lead is ever wasted. As you're pouring this lead, one thing you're going to always remember to do is never, ever grab something without using a pair of pliers. This metal is 600 and some degrees, and it will burn you in a hurry. Once you're done, I spread all the balls out here on the rag. I got a bunch of them out of that roofing vent. If I see any that look really kind of warped and mature and pure, anything like that, I just throw them back in the pot and melt them again. There you go, my friends. In less than an hour, I've got all these .480 balls to shoot. There's probably 200 of them there. That's what it's all about. Save money and have fun losing that lead. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll catch you next time.